Hey guys, how's it going? Edit here again. In today's video, I'm going to be refurbishing a Nintendo Game Boy Advance. For any of you who are new to my channel, I really, really enjoy collecting for the Game Boy. I've made several videos of my collection. Please feel free to go check them out. In today's video, I'm going to be focusing on this Indigo Purple Game Boy Advance. It was one that I picked up just today for £5. It's pretty much okay. It seems to be working just fine, just a little bit grubby. Without any further ado, let's crack it open. The first thing to do is take off the six screws that are located around the outside. They are held in with a tri-wing screwdriver. Once those are removed, the next one is just underneath the battery compartment and is a small little Phillips head. After that, the next thing to do, of course, is remove the back and that will reveal the motherboard. On the motherboard, you will find two Phillips head screwdrivers. Just go ahead and take them out. The next thing to do is just remove the little um, pieces that are held in on the side. They're only in there with friction, so just lift them off. The next thing to do is just remove the ribbon cable from the motherboard. Lift the motherboard off very carefully and you'll be able to have access to the screen and the back of the buttons. Simply just lift the membranes off and that will reveal the buttons and then we can go ahead and give them a clean. To clean them I would just suggest using a little bit of Mr Sheen on a rag or on a microfiber cloth and just buff them up gently. They don't really need too much work and they don't really need to go in the sink. Depending on how grubby it is, you can decide. Now's a good time to spot check on the motherboard to see if you need to clean anything. Mine looks to be okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put it back together. Putting it back together is just everything in reverse, so I'm going to speed the whole process up. Before you put the whole thing back together, I always take a little Q-tip and just go inside each of the screw holes. That will just get any of the kind of grime and dirt out of there that you might not have gotten before. Then the last thing to do, of course, is just to put some batteries in and test to see if it still works. The chemicals in the mushrooms, I think, will offer us another... That's it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one.